You sign up for new apps or websites and forget about them. It's happened to a lot of us. But dormant accounts can threaten your privacy and security. News 19's Alicia Niaves is on your side tonight with tips on how you can make sure your information stays safe. We're about to take you way back to MySpace. Maybe you had an account. Well, the website still exists, and so does your account and all of those pictures you may have forgotten about. Here's a website to write down, justdelete.me. The site shows how easy or difficult it is to find and delete sites. If you can't remember what accounts you may have, try searching usernames you may have used on sites such as checkusernames.com. The site can track down all of your accounts. You should also take inventory of your saved logins. To find this, go to your settings in Google Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer, or Safari. This will show which accounts you're logged into. And many services let you use your Facebook or Google account uh, credentials to log in. To find these on Facebook, head to Settings and then Apps and Websites. Now, it won't delete your accounts, but it will allow you to revoke permission and find out which are still around. On any Google page, click the three dots in the corner and hit the Account button. Then find Security. Scroll to the bottom and you'll find the Signing in with Google tab. We have a step-by-step -step guide of all of this, in case you missed any of that, on our website, WLTX.com. And even if you stopped using a site years ago, experts say it's important to find and delete it. Otherwise, the lingering data poses a risk to your digital privacy and security. In the studio, I'm Alicia Niaves, News 19 WLTX. All right, Alicia, thank you so very much.